uh, for our community webinar in February, Social Media and Your Wiki. Thank you all for coming. And today we have with us two of Wikia's social media coordinators, Kate Moon and Nate Blankenfeld. Together, we will be providing with you with best practices, tips, and examples of how to use social media to grow your Wiki's audience and members of your community. Our agenda is to overview the major social media sites, to talk to you about getting started, so how do you start using these sites to help your Wiki, some tools and best practices, as well as some examples from the community. There's a lot of wikis where to use those social media, so we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to do a QA and a at the end. So again, feel free to send in questions. Also, if you know of great examples or you are using social media for your wiki, please send those in too, and I'll read out whatever your advice or whatever you have to share. So why are we covering social media? Well, let's first think about how the expansion of the internet over the past decade has impacted the way we not only live, but how we learn, interact, and spend our free time. In the past, content like stories and news were only found in print, and then TV and radio came along and revolutionized this. And for many years, both of them dominated how information was produced and shared. But the internet again revolutionized this. Now, if you wanna look up a fact, you go to Wikipedia. If you want to find out the time for a movie or a concert, you go to the location's website. And if you want to book a flight, order takeout, or even buy a new shirt, all that can be done online and most often is done online. Now, what do you do, though, if you want to find out what your friends are up to or your favorite website is down and you want to figure out why? If you ask most folks today what they do, in these cases and many others, they turn to social media sites. So what defines a social media site? In essence, it's a place where people can interact to create, share, and exchange information and ideas. Here you can see the logos of some of the current major social media sites, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr. But there are many more out there and many sites that provide social media components, but don't consider themselves solely social media sites. Today, we're gonna to talk with you about a couple of these main sites, but please feel free to send in questions, ideas, or even your own tips. I'm now going to hand the mic over to Kate, who will talk with you about the benefits of social media to your wiki, how to get started, as well as what to do and what to avoid. Thanks, Sarah. Hey guys, my name is Kate. Um, you may have seen me around on various wikis. What I do is help promote wikis via social media. I manage accounts such as the Hunger Games Wiki, Avatar Wiki, True Blood Wiki, and a lot more. I'm, I'm here to talk about how social media can benefit and affect your wiki. So social media is a huge resource for your wiki to promote your content, find others interested in your topic, and keep up to date on news, and connect with others such as companies, individuals, and fans all around your shared passion. So getting the word out means more people are not only aware of your wiki, but also visiting it. The increase in page views means more people are reading, viewing, or even contributing to your wiki. More visitors leads to more editors and can help identify your wiki as a resource within your topic. A good example will be the Hunger Games wiki, which has increased exponentially with the help of social media, as well as the release of the film in 2012, which we time specifically get th to get that momentum. And here you can see the trajectory of the followers over the course of the year. So where to get started? First, you should assess your audience. Who, the, who are they and what are they most interested in? Do most of the people interested in your topic interact more on Facebook or on Twitter? Ask and do a bit of research before you started so you know where to get more viewers and more eyes on your wiki. You should start out on only one or maybe two platforms, then add more if it makes sense. It can be daunting to set up five accounts and try to manage all of them. We recommend starting with two, such as Facebook and Twitter, testing it out, and then reassessing after some time. Double check to see if there are accounts already tied to your wiki, and if not, see what naming convention works best. We recommend always including the word wiki in your account name along with the most common or popular name for the subject, such as Deadman Wiki for Deadman Wonderland or Call of Duty Wiki. Now, who should have access to your account? A couple of admins is good. If you're not an admin, check in with the rest of the community before getting started. We also recommend asking for input on what gets posted. Remember, anyone can have a good idea. You can create a blog list or forum area where recommendations can be left. So let's talk about setting up Facebook. We're now gonna overview some design basics for creating your Facebook and Twitter accounts. 
On Facebook, the goal is to create a page for the wiki that others will like, which will post updates to their newsfeed. A page allows for multiple users to act as admins on it, and you can post from your personal account and look at page stats as an admin. To get started, you'll need a profile picture and a cover photo. You can also add additional images, a description, link to important areas of the wiki, and milestones. We recommend you fill out the About section and link back to your wiki. We also recommend that you keep the focus on the wiki and its activities versus just your personal information. Here you can see a good example from GleeWiki. They've done a great job of matching their wiki's theme, including similar colors, logos, and incorporating the main characters from the show. So when you're actually setting up the Facebook, the profile picture should be 170 by 170 pixels, but up to 180 by 180 can be uploaded. Um, this is a good place to incorporate your wiki's wordmark or favicon. For the cover photo, you are given 850 pixels by 315 pixels. Here you may want to include main characters or scenes. The cover photo allows you more space to visually represent your subject. We recommend using Photoshop or a similar photo editing site, and there are many free options, to adjust your image to exact size. Remember, simplicity can go a long way, so don't feel you need to include absolutely everything about your wiki in just one image at one time. Updating the cover photo frequently to celebrate what is happening on the wiki actually gets a lot of user interactions. Examples would include a new game or a new show coming out, maybe new images that were released, and wiki milestones. So now let's talk about Twitter. For Twitter, we recommend a lot of the same things. Be sure to include a description of the wiki with a link back to it. Some wikis like to list the users who manage the account, but that is just a preference. Here you can see the Avatar Wiki's Twitter account. They've done a really great job with their background, incorporating images and colors found on their wiki. Their description uses important keywords and links back to their wiki. This has worked very well since they have around 2,700 followers. So let's talk about setting up Twitter. For Twitter, you have three areas you can customize, your avatar, the header, and the background. For the avatar, we recommend using something similar to your Facebook profile picture. So your wiki's wordmark or something similar. The avatar is 81 by 81 pixels, but we recommend uploading a larger photo with better resolution. An image that is, say, 200 by 200 will often offer better quality. The header is the area behind your avatar, and the size should be 520 by 520 by 260 pixels, but we again recommend making this a little bit bigger. You can also use a basic color as seen here. This allows for the logo to stand out and not compete with the background. And lastly, we have the background. For this, we recommend 2,104 <coughs> by 1,206 pixels. This will work well with various screen sizes. Remember that the middle section is gonna be covered by the Twitter content. So after creating and designing your Twitter and Facebook profiles, there are a few places to begin. To start, for Twitter, you should try looking at who to follow. We recommend following some of these people to start. Users of your wiki, top users related to the topic, such as verified people under actors, network, game designer, and etc. Similar fan sites, similar wikis, wiki accounts like Wikia, Wiki Entertainment, and users who follow you if they seem interested in your topic, but just keep out for spam accounts. For Facebook, it's a really good idea to like popular members of the subject community, such as the producer, network, or actors. And here you can see an example from the Gravity Falls Wiki. So let's talk about spreading the word. Once you have your followers down, account set up, and have done some preliminary posts, you can start spreading the word. We have some tips to help you get off the ground. For Facebook, you can start by asking your friends to like your page. We recommend doing some initial outreach to your network, as well as asking members of your community to do the same. A few things not to do include, don't spam, keep to asking people to like or follow you only a few times. Don't over ask people to retweet or share your posts. This can be really pushy. Some things to do is to tweet at networks, authors, official accounts to let them know that a whole wiki exists for something you, they've created. You can also check what is trending for your topic or hashtag words that are tailored just for you. That's a good way to get more people to see your account and also your wiki. Now I'm gonna hand the mic over to Nate, who's gonna chat with you about what to post, best practices and tools. Thanks, Kate. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> so let's talk about the most important aspect of your social media accounts. It's all about what you say. Content is at the heart of a successful social account. Interesting, fun, and engaging posts get a lot more interaction than those that aren't. So what are our main tips for what to post? You should post current news and events, updates to the wiki, and interesting subjects, 
info on the wiki and what it's doing, user photos, videos, and links. Also, posts that encourage engagement, like challenges or quizzes, um, themes or contests are really fun. Here's an example on the Vampire Diaries Wiki Facebook page. They do a great job of listing current news, getting people excited about upcoming shows, and they use photos and videos really well. Now, something to keep in mind when posting. Try to keep um, use keywords and most common names associated with your topic. You don't need to speak in full sentences, but try to keep spelling and grammar in mind. Link back to the wiki, almost at all times. Ignore trolls and negative people. Try not to engage with negative comments. Um, so for Twitter, some advice we have is, there are a couple of important things to keep in mind. But remember, this is just advice, so feel free to experiment and see what works best for you and your community. Remember, you only get 140 characters, so use them well. Shorten your links, it really helps. Start with three times a day. Don't feel you need to tweet constantly. You may actually flood followers' feeds and make each tweet less meaningful. Retweet popular or interesting posts. Interact with people. Um, answer anyone's questions, especially when conversing with tweets. Remember to add a period if you want others involved in your conversation. Don't direct message uh, someone unless you feel it's absolutely necessary or you feel comfortable doing so. Um, using hashtags is a is a great tip to follow. Hashtags help people who are searching for particular topics to find your tweets more readily. Here's an example uh, of tweets from the Wiki accounts. You can see we're using popular terms, mentioning other users, and in one case, adding a photo. In the first tweet, we use the hashtag diehard. So now someone searching for diehard is more likely to find this tweet and in turn visit the diehard wiki, which is what the goal is. For Facebook, you can use Many of the same posts you'd add to Twitter, but you want to modify them so you not include the Twitter-specific content like hashtags or at mention symbols. For Facebook, we recommend updates around three times a day, add links to news blogs and updates. Uh, it's good to have photos, especially ones that are really dynamic. Tag topic or producers in posts. Reshare other good photos and posts and images. Remember, privacy is a bigger issue here, so only ask for folks to like you in the beginning or very sporadically. Here's a recent post from Wikia's Facebook page. You can see a photo is linked to Wikipedia's Facebook page as well as to their wiki. We also ask folks to engage with us there to encourage comments. Let's talk about tools. There's a number of tools that exist that can help you manage your social media accounts, offering easy ways to post, search, and see your interactions. Three, we recommend checking out our Bitly, which is a service which shortens your URLs, then allows you to track how often they're clicked. Hootsuite or TweetDeck, which allow you to set up filters for keywords, seeing mentions, and other filtering options. These will help you kind of see the big picture of who you're talking to and who's talking about your wiki, uh, which makes it easier to interact with others. They also allow you to post to both Facebook and Twitter from one location. Here you can see a screenshot from Hootsuite, which Sarah uses to manage the Wikia community account. Once you're comfortable with your social media accounts, it's now time to add them to your wiki. There are a couple of places and ideas we recommend. Add it to your wiki's navigation. Many wikis have a community tab in their navigation. This is a great place to not only link to your local policies, but also add links to the wiki's social media accounts. The community corner is a good place to announce that you have accounts and put links to them. This will show a notification to visitors that it has been updated. Most important, importantly, you should add the Twitter and Facebook widgets to your main page. This allows you to pull in your recent tweets and Facebook followers. It allows folks to follow a tweet and offers the ability for someone to like your wiki's page right from Wikia. Here you can see an example from the Camp Half-Blood page. To add these widgets to your main page, you need to use a special hashtag called verbatim. We will provide a link at the end to a step-by-step -step guide that you can follow for adding it to your wiki. Other places you can add it to is your welcome message, your signature, or on other important highly visited wiki pages. So Facebook and Twitter, of course, are the most readily used forms of social promotion, but we're seeing that Wikia communities kind of like stepping out and using other sites like Tumblr and Instagram, Pinterest, and Google+. For a few examples, Tumblr is great for sharing photos, especially GIFs. Um, Pinterest is really helpful if you want something more visually dynamic to get someone interested and in linking back to your wiki and their content. 
Instagram's great for quick little uh, photos and screenshots and kind of also establishing your brand identity for your wiki community. Um, Google Plus is great for um, starting a chat with your community members and even gaining a verified account to your Google Plus page uh, helps your SEO and targeting to your Google Plus page for your Wikia community. Awesome. Thank you, Nate and Kate. Um, both of you have done a great job with all of our Wiki accounts. Um, and I will list the main accounts that everyone here should check out at the end of the session. But we also have many Wikis and individuals who've built up amazing social media accounts with thousands of followers. As part of prepping for this webinar, I chatted with uh, a couple of the admins running these. So N7 and DMAC1214, who manage the Call of Duty Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube channel. I also chatted with Bears Great, who I actually see in the audience, um, who runs the Dead Man Wiki and the Korobas Wiki Twitter accounts, and also assists Kate in running our Wikia Anime Twitter account. I'm now going to share with you how they got started and their advice on how to become successful on social media accounts and how that can help your Wiki. So I first chatted with N7 and DMAC, who are the main admins, um, who are admins on Call of Duty and the main ones who manage the Call of Duty social media accounts. But the content is from users across their wiki. The wiki's account was started back in 2011, uh, but became more active in 2012. Currently, their Facebook page has just under 1,300 likes, and their Twitter has over 6,300 followers, which is super impressive. When I asked why they use social media, both of them said it was to spread the word about the wiki to the rest of the Call of Duty community, specifically that it spreads the wiki's recognition to other parts of the web and thus attracts more visitors to the wiki. They believe they've received more recognition from the rest of the COD community because of their accounts. Some of their successes have been retweets from actual Call of Duty developers, and most recently, Sledgehammer Games, one of the developers of Call of Duty, actually started to follow them. When we chatted about how they gained such a large following, they cited their use of the Call of Duty news blog on their wiki as a big part of it. N7 stated, I think it's mainly posting news that people like to see, especially if it's exclusive or if we're first. DMAC followed up to say that they saw their following grow as we started to use a lot more use it a lot more often and we're more engaged with the community that followed us. We posted news, quizzes, fan stuff, jokes, etc. And a lighter, more engaging interaction led more people to not only follow their account, but also to retweet and to mention them. So what advice did they offer? They said, keep it active and engaging. Don't use it just for news and advertising the wiki, but also integrate fun prompts along with wiki content. Keep in contact with your followers and always try to reply to any mentions that you get. Don't constantly ask to be followed or to be retweeted. This starts to get a nuisance and people are going to actually not want to follow or retweet you. For account management, for them, they say they have at least three users to have access to the account. And having in different time zones can mean you can cover more territory. And when adding it to your wiki, they recommend using the main page widgets, as well as providing links in your blogs or news reports, which will help spread the awareness about your accounts. And you can see here this screenshot from earlier in the week uh, from the Call of Duty wiki, where they're actually talking about a Call of Duty wiki quiz, which if you go and look at their feed, a lot of people interacted with them around that. So it's a great use of hashtagging related to your wiki to engage both your followers and other people around the web who are looking for topics related to Call of Duty. Bear is Great uh, had similar advice to N7 and DMAC, and I know he's in the audience, so hopefully he's sending in some others. He started promoting his Dead Man Wonderland wiki at first through his personal accounts and then decided to make official accounts for the wikis he's most active on. For finding followers, he recommends looking for the fan base on the social network and following those people who are in the fan base. Chances are high they'll refollow and retweet, spreading the info that you post. He also recommends keeping it relevant, current, and lighthearted, including tweeting a regular news feed that links back to your wiki, but also polls and cool blogs, galleries, and the occasional funny quote or joke. A friendly and funny social media account is always better than a strict boring one, which I have to say I agree with. And lastly, he has had good results tweeting videos and pictures of new episodes, characters, and scenes. So also to consider using kind of more of this multimedia approach when on the social media accounts. When I asked for his recommendation for tools, he said he uses TweetDeck and tries to tweet at least five times a week and sometimes multiple times a day. He also encourages 
folks to have a conversation there. For example, if someone on Twitter mentions you for a question, have a conversation with them. Same thing for Facebook. This makes for a more conversational and interactive, um, basically interaction with the bigger subject community rather than just constantly you pushing out information. It'll be a better way for you to kind of gain followers and engage your followers rather than just always telling them something. I want to give a big thank you to Bear is Great, N7, and DMAC for taking the time to chat with me. They did this on their own time and it's really wonderful of them. Um, and for sharing their advice with both us and the community at large. Their accounts are great models for others to learn from and it's super impressive what a big following they've gained. One last thing I wanted to mention was that you should add your Wiki's account on Community Central. We have a list there for both Twitter and Facebook. So please, if you do get engaged on social media, please um, come there and add it in so others can see. Um, we uh, also have a number of Wikia accounts, as we've kind of mentioned. On Facebook, you can just find us at Wikia. That's also our main Twitter account. I also most recently created a Wikia community account, um, which is more focused on providing help and advice. So please find me and um, chat with me there. We also have a number of subject accounts that are focused on kind of basically kind of like the hubs on Wikia. So we have lifestyle, games, entertainment, and anime. So if you're into any of those topics, please check those out. And now we're gonna go into some questions from the audience. Please feel free to keep submitting them. As we're kind of organizing them, I just wanna mention two things. For resources on Community Central, we put up all recordings, um, slides, and notes from this webinar. So you can check that out on the webinar page. Basically, all these links here are on community. Uh, we also have a page with step-by-step -step instructions for adding the Twitter and Facebook feeds to your main page. Um, if you're going to add it anywhere on your wiki, this is probably the best place to do it. So please check that page out. Um, add your accounts to the Twitter and Facebook pages, and also register for our next webinar. We will be having Tim Q from Consup with us to talk about advanced ways to customize your wiki. So please join us on March 22nd. And now we are gonna go into a couple of the questions. Um, one actual last thing is if you have questions about customizing your Twitter, your Facebook, they also have great resources on those places. So there's usually a help link somewhere in the upper corner. Um, so definitely go on Tumblr and Google Plus too. So feel free to explore there as well. So the first question that came in um, was about um, how can you get data on how much impact social media is having on page view? So basically, how can you, Nate and Kate, know, okay, I put this tweet up. What's it how is it helping? How is it actually helping my wiki? So um, one thing that Kate and I do is we use Hootsuite's uh, functionality of shrinking our links and our URLs. And once it's shrunk or shrinking, um, <laughs> we, uh, being used in the tweet, it's collected into a database on Hootsuite. And so it can it shows you in a little dashboard how many people have clicked it. You can also, oops, sorry. <laughs> you can also, um, if you have access to Google Analytics, you can also supplement the um, that kind of code or that kind of link into a Google Analytics doc so you can see how much traction it's getting. But Hootsuite's really helpful. Great, yeah. And I think so the, the thing is there are tools on the social media sites that you can use. Um, so we recommend that. And then also you can use tools like Quantcast or Comscore to basically see your wiki's page views as well. And so you can know, hey, we started the Call of Duty quiz push the week of Valentine's Day and then looking correspondingly at your stats and you can kind of measure that against each other. Facebook, uh, Facebook page insights is also really fun too. So if you start a Facebook page for your Wikia community, it usually tells you who's liking you by the second, minute, day, and then kind of shows you trendings upwards of like what posts that you post are go viral, which ones kind of taint, which ones kind of um, saw the most visitors and stuff like that. Cool. So that comes with when you create a Facebook page. That's yeah. part of it. Yeah. It's the admin dashboard. Okay, cool. So there's within that, there's the admin dashboard that um, can give you some of those stats. And I've seen those pretty interesting. Um, a tip from the community on the fairy tale wiki, they've actually created um, a little Twitter bird that floats in the right uh, corner of every single page. Um, so that people can get to the Twitter account from there. You can get a lot of followers that way. So, you know, sometimes with naming conventions and things like that, it can be tough um, to find a wiki on there. So definitely having 
that link readily available on your wiki it's a great place for people to find you exactly so that probably takes a little customization but you could head to community central and ask on the forum and i'm sure there's many users who can tell you how to do that um a couple of questions that i thought of and and crowd out there please submit some more um so we mentioned use popular hashtags what are popular hashtags like do you guys know of any ones that are popular that you'd recommend people using? Sure. Um, a good example from The Hunger Games would be that since Catching Fire the movie is coming out um, this year, the Hunger Games official Twitter account has started one called The Spark, and they've been tweeting that out as a way for people to kind of gather their thoughts and conversations together. So anytime you basically put The Spark as a hashtag in your tweets, um, The Hunger Games, the official account is seeing it, and they're tweeting the best ones. So that's a really cool way to get your um, Twitter account into the world, actually. So cool. yeah, that's a really good example. So like looking at um, what they say the producer is doing and maybe using some of those similar ones. Yeah, exactly. I know like the developers have their own for several games and a lot of studios these days are coming out with official hashtags and ones that are getting promoted. And anytime someone tweets that, it's actually getting more eyes on the road. It also helps kind of like to that point of um, kind of seeing what's trending on Twitter. So like if like things change daily or hourly and stuff like that. But if you see one that's cool that could pertain to your wiki, like I think Harry Potter or Voldemort did like movie titles switching out like Voldemort names. Like those are always really fun, especially if you um, are on the Harry Potter community or want, like, something that pertains to your community. Okay. And I know there are some of those standard ones like Follow Friday where people right. recommend people to follow, Throwback Thursday where you're kind of like talking about something in the past. Yeah. I'm trying to promote Wiki Wednesday, so um, <laughs> please feel free to use that. I kind of like to post tips or advice about wikis on Wednesday, so that could be a good one you can do. Yeah, a lot of our accounts actually do Follow Fridays around our various wiki Twitter accounts. So yeah. It's a really good way to get more. Should do Wiki Wednesday. Wiki Wednesday. <laughs> and also, if you're going to create, so I'm saying, hey, I, I want to create a hashtag. Any recommendations there? Like, is it good to shorten words? Or, like, you know, for example, COD wiki quiz. That was a good one, right? Because they shortened Call of Duty rather than doing all of Call, Call of Duty. They did mention the wiki, though. And then they talked quiz, so kind of letting people know what they're doing. Yep. Um, a couple other from the crowds. Um, how would you suggest using social media to attract new editors to wikis with a small fan base? Hmm. I think like a small fan base, like... Like a niche topic? I would, Essentially, or it hasn't taken off yet. Um, I would really look at what makes it a niche topic and speak to that uh, and bring it, bring it around what the producers of that franchise like if it's a video game that's really niche then find out who is the producer of that video game and what kind of hashtags the producer uses or find also just like sometimes really basic ones can sometimes start generating stuff so like hashtag gaming and kind of entering something or finding that that's something that's specific that you know someone might be interested in or more likely to kind of stumble upon is really helpful yeah, that's a really good point. And also a lot of very niche things have a broader audience, if you think about it. Just because one wiki is fairly niche and very small doesn't mean it doesn't have common interests with other wikis. And if you band them all together, um, it's actually a really good way to get more followers. So let's say you're a very niche anime. Um, let's say you have something in common with two other anime wikis because they were created by the same person. Um, you can affiliate with them and be like, hey, can you put our Twitter account up on your main page and we'll do the same you know, something like that. That's a really good way to kind of get more followers. And as a last note for me is just, if you're taking someone from Twitter and bringing them onto Ikea, sometimes it can be kind of a confusing experience for first timers. So I always suggest like, if you're really trying to branch out, make it something really easy and lightweight, like a blog and commenting or a poll or something that's very just easy to get familiar with so that they're more likely to stick around. Yeah, and I think you can do a little bit of a almost education about why why this is a wiki and why you are looking for other people. You know, it's saying, hey, we're not just a site where you look at pictures, we're a site where you can add the pictures, hashtagging right. the name of it. And so encouraging, kind of um, using the language to say, to, to express how a wiki is a place of contribution, not just of consumption. I think that's kind of a good way. And like Nate said, it might be that you say, hey, come let us know which of these vote on the best picture we're going to use for our main page next week or kind of some of these lighter contributions and then when they get there give them a message on their wall or talk page and say hey i noticed you came here you know this is how you get started yeah. 
Um, two more or one comment, one question. Um, someone uh, sent in, there is a site called hashtags.org, which is a good place to search for popular hashtags. So thank you for that resource, person sending it in. And then um, someone asked, any ideas on how to reach out to, to uh, game developers? So we've mentioned like contact them. What, what does that mean? Like, how do you guys, So how would you, what would your advice be around that? So one thing that we were doing last month, which was called Dread Game Tip, which we asked the gaming communities to submit, I think it was over 100 gaming tips and tricks. And what I was doing was uh, submitting the tweets at midnight, and it was like an amalgam co collection of these tweets. Um, and one of the tips and tricks was from, the I think, someone from the Fallout wiki. And what was really cool is because I used the hashtag, or I think the app mention of Fallout, they happened to retweet it, and they had like 50,000 followers. So it was like a really cool achievement for the person who submitted it from the wiki because the developer of Fallout thought it was really insightful and cool enough that they wanted to retweet it themselves. Um, so I would say start mentioning really fun or funny things or cool quotes or something like that, that the developer who, or social media manager of the developer account likes it enough to favorite it or retweet it or at mention you back. So try to be maybe a little more original or unique. Yeah. That can help. Um, so someone in the audience is a admin on the Wheel of Fortune wiki. Nice. And they're curious of how... Um, any suggestions if you were to go in and help them what would be some of the things that you would do does pat sajak still does he have an official twitter account mm -hmm. that would be the first or, step probably or vanna research White. on if vanna <laughs> or pat have 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 accounts would be your first place to start have you considered uh, maybe doing like a live twitter party during the show i mean it's a show that's so based on what people are doing at that time uh, maybe as people are throwing out vowels or things like that, you can be like, "What? what's going to be this word? And things like that. That'll be a way to engage more users and have kind of some fun with it. Cool. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, Twitter is really great for the kind of live streaming on the fly, on the fly yeah. keeping up with what's going on. Um, uh, but um, a question that I was curious, so both of you run Wikia accounts. What have been some of the most successful posts that you guys have done? Hmm. You should talk about Harry Potter, Nate. Yeah, that's not it. Well... <laughs> um, okay, I'll start. Yeah, you start. Um, okay, I'll start. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Um, I, so we, I was talking a little bit about Hunger Games earlier, but we really did time on starting that Twitter account um, specifically to catch in the momentum of the movie, which is one of the biggest releases of recent dates. Um, we actually, um, a lot of things what we did was we were really keeping up to date on news and the Hunger Games, the official Twitter account was running a lot of really cool social media campaigns, like scattering puzzles all over the world so we can find it. We were participating in that. And that was a really good way to affiliate with other sites that were really similar, other Hunger Games fan sites. And it grew really fast because we were keeping on top of news and what was happening and engaging with the audience. And so it has such a large fan base that it was actually really easy. But I think that's a really good way to get um, more attention to your wiki. Um, the traffic really drove up, not only because of the movie, but because we got so many external fans going to the wiki to check out more information. We actually got a lot of official people being like, oh, I know your wiki, it's really cool, and we use it as a resource because all, all of it is there. And that's just really gratifying to our users to know that their work is getting viewed. Um, I have two or three. So I'll do my Harry Potter one first because that was fun. So when I think it was last oh, two years ago, we were doing a uh, kind of uh, campaign for Deathly Hallows Part 2 for Harry Potter. And so I think Kate and I actually worked together on that. I can't remember. It was so long ago of setting up a twice or three times a day Harry Potter quiz. So we would tweet out quiz questions about that were very hot, Harry Potter centric. And we would have uh, for the first couple of days, we'd get like one or two responses. And by midway through the month that we were doing this, it was like 50 responses and 60 responses of tweets going back and forth. And it was great because we'd always link the answer back to the Harry Potter wiki. So the traffic for the wiki just doubled or quadrupled in that month. Um, also in part because of the movie, but a lot of it had to do with just Twitter funness. Um, the second thing was um, I got to help co-write a tweet that Summit was working on with our Twilight talk with oh, Jackson Rathbone. With Jackson Rathbone. And uh, 
so I got to put in wiki like follow Wikia or come to the Twilight Wiki with Wikia and watching just so many people retweet at Wikia and mention at Wikia in about two seconds, like 70 or 80 uh, tweets all at once was really funny because we usually don't get that many at one time. Cool. Two other questions um, actually kind of related to wikis that um, aren't as traditional as our entertainment or gaming one. So one question is, what are your recommendations for relating to answers wikis? And the other is someone who has a science based wiki. So any kind of different advice around uh, Q&A almost type wikis or wikis that are kind of not outside of it. They don't necessarily have a movie star you can tweet at. You know, a Q&A wiki would actually be a really great format for Twitter or Facebook because there are formats where you can ask the questions and have the people answer. And at the end of the day, you can tweet the correct answer. And whoever wins, you can like, give, offer them like a retweet, being like, oh, you got the right answer. I'm going to retweet you. And it's actually a really good way to engage users. And I think Q&A lends itself really well to Twitter. Um, or even getting answers to, it's a good way to, if you have a lot of questions that don't have answers, right. kind of doing a drive to yeah, get totally. answers to those questions yeah. or verifying the answers that are there. Now, what about science? Any ideas around science? So science, I think for me, because it's really big and grandiose, I think you could literally just start, I don't know specifically what type of science your wiki community is pertaining to, but you could be just kind of listing off really fun facts from your science wiki, uh, you know, see, or like having fun trivia things with what are the common elements or what is this and having questions posed out there with science hashtags or things to know about science hashtags mm -hmm. and there's very possible you can even at mention what's a like discovery channel or um, nova and even getting a really fun fact like that getting retweeted by them would be really cool yeah and i think there are a lot of um scientists who are on there there's also lots of things like conferences and science um, shows are really popular science shows there's also things like ted talks or o'reilly conferences that are more technical and scientific base that, you know, could be something that you could, could interact with. Um, also, like, yeah, like I mentioned, conferences, if it's a topic where annually or biannually there's a big conference, so conferences and live events are a place where a lot of people are using Twitter. They're finding out what's going on, what the latest news is. Um, you know, also science, there are, is breaking news. Um, you know, there was a meteor today. If you're just if you're doing a space wiki, that's actually an amazing thing to tweet about and to talk about and actually kind of educate around. I think you could think of it. There is a lot of news and a lot of um, misinformation relating to science. So it could almost be like more an educational kind of tweets as well. Especially a good uh, format for using photos. Like that's a fun thing to find in a tweet from a science wiki would be a photo of the meteorite or a yeah. photo of something really fun like a molecule or something like Which that. Which would be really yeah. great for Facebook actually. Yeah. Yeah. You share your Facebook and link back to your wiki. Yeah. And on Facebook, you generally, um, when you go to post a link, if there's a couple of images on the page, you can choose which one it is. So you can kind of piece through um, that as well. And we definitely have seen, and even I have seen personally, you know, if you upload a photo, you generally get a lot more interaction than if you just write a line. Cool. Well, that was most of the questions from well, the crowd. We had uh, someone ask, uh, what specific activities do you recommend to engage fans and have them participate on social media? And it turns out that the Gravity Falls Wiki is having their own Twitter party cool. um, in 80 minutes, which is really awesome. Yay. Yay. 80 minutes from right now? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Even better. Awesome. So at 5 o'clock California time. Sunsies. Awesome. Well, Gravity Falls Wiki, you're doing a great job. And I think anyone who is there, um, I would check, follow their account. If you're here today and interested, that might be a great way to learn is follow their account. Yeah, I am super through. impressed by the Gravity Falls Twitter account, actually. So that's awesome, you guys. Cool. So but, so that might be a good thing to test out, that type of activity is this kind of live tweet. Does that answer? Types of activities. I think even um, there's also, I think, um, just a last question, which might go along with them, if your wikis... Um, uh, season. So if you're entertainment season, you have live episodes, but then there's half the year when there's nothing new. What might be fun things to do when there's nothing new? We're actually also, a lot of things like True Blood Wiki, they deal with a really long, um, I guess. Hiatus. Yeah, hiatus is a good word. Yeah. It's actually almost a year. So what we do is we do a lot of fun trivia around that. We're like, hey, this is like top 10 reasons why we love Eric Northman or top 10 quotes by Godric. We tweet a lot of those. And remember that your wiki has so much content and so many resources that people are always interested in hearing about what happened. Yeah. And it's also okay for 
when it's a little quieter for your feed to be a little quieter, you know, you do, you know, that's okay that it's not always super active at the same speed. There's going to be times when new episodes are on and you might be a lot more busier than at times when it's in the off season. Yep, totally. Cool. Well, I want to thank everyone in this room and everyone in the virtual room for coming. Thank you, Kate, Nate, and Trella um, for all of your help and advice. Thank you to Barry's Great and Seven and DMAC for their advice. And thanks everyone for attending. This has been recorded, so it'll be up on Community Central probably next week. So thanks for coming and hope to see many of you in March at our next webinar. Um, last thing too, if you have topics you want covered in a webinar, please just reach out to me because um, I am the one who organizes them. So I'm happy to hear your feedback and would love to do webinars that all of you want to hear about. So have wonderful weekends and see you on Makia. Yay. Yay.